number of years ago, uh, I was traveling by plane uh, in Canada, and uh, I had taken off uh, in Calgary and was headed to Vancouver. And it was my first time to cross the Rockies. And of course, I was very interested to see the Rocky Mountains from the air. I had never seen them from the air before. And uh, I had an inside seat on the airplane. And as we were approaching the Rockies, uh, I was very eager to see them. And so I was leaning over uh, to get a better view. And there was a young woman seated on the uh, right by the window. And uh, naturally, uh, when your face is this close to another person's face, you get to know them. And uh, so this young woman and I began to talk to each other about the beauty of the Rockies and so forth. And uh, as we shared with one another, I told her that I was going to be uh, making a number of uh, speeches in the Vancouver, British Columbia area, and uh, would be on a radio program and a number of other things. And she told me she was a school teacher uh, down in Washington State. She was an American, and she was up uh, visiting uh, in Canada with some friends and was on the way home. And uh, this was uh, early on a Sunday morning. And I said to her, uh, why don't you spend the day with me? And she said, what? And I said, yeah, spend the day with me. There's going to be a pastor that will meet us when the plane lands. And uh, I'm going to be making a number of speeches. And you can just be with me today. She said, but I didn't have that plan. I said, it doesn't make any difference. I said, a planned life can only be endured. I said, change your plan. She said, well, OK, I'll do it. <laughs> so I get off of the plane with this good looking woman. <laughs> And the, and the pastor says, who is this? And I said, this is my new friend. I just met her on airplane. She's going to spend the day with us. And uh, the first thing we did was a radio program. And she was on radio talking to half of the province of British Columbia. And, uh, and then I spoke in a couple of churches. And I spoke at a college. And all day long, uh, we just went from one event to the other. And, and of course, just about everywhere I went, I told a story about how I got to know her on the airplane and invited her to spend the day with me, and she changed her plans, and, you know, and at the end of the day, she's going to catch a bus and go down and start teaching school the next day. Well, she told me at the end of the day, she said, I got a feeling that today has changed my life. And uh, she ended up coming, at that time, Linda and I lived at a small Christian community uh, near America, Georgia, a place called Cornelia Farm. That's the birthplace of Habitat for Humanity and the Fuller Center for Housing. And she took a year's leave of absence from teaching. and came down and stayed a year with us. Uh, and, uh, and then I've stayed in touch with her, not real closely, but uh, I saw her just a couple of years ago. She lives now in uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. But she changed her plans and uh, spent a day with a total stranger. And uh, it had a profound impact uh, on her life. A planned life can only be endured. Don't put off something. If you have an opportunity to, to do something, do it. Life goes by ever so fast, and if you pass up opportunities, it may not come your way again. 